Well, good morning, everybody. Trying to get a, a move on this morning. Kind of running a little late, so i uh, got to get after this. Um, hope you have a great day. It's going to be what you make it. Um, hopefully you're going to be able to enjoy some of this uh, uh, nice lower humidity if you're here locally in the Dallas area. And may we continue to say prayers for those out in Florida and even in South Texas. Um, anyway, hope you make it a great day. My thought today is on shake it off, don't let it fester. Um, you know, we all have um, things that get under our skin. People get under our skin. Uh, situations that seem out of our control get out of, uh, under our skin. Um, that try our last nerve, our patience. Uh, sometimes we don't make the best reactions as a, as a result of things that may come and go and, and disturb us in our daily routines. Um, but you know, we've got to learn to let those things go, to not let things fester up and uh, get the better of us. And, um, you know, know that whatever is coming into our life has ability to have great redeeming effect of us learning from a lesson or learning to maybe maybe learn some patience, which I'm far from learning, <laughs> or whatever the circumstance may be, is that, you know, we, we've got great potential for taking something out of that situation that we might not have otherwise um, understood or gone th or, or uh, dealt with if we hadn't actually physically gone through it ourselves or, or mentally or emotionally, whichever way it affects us. Um, you know, when we let things fester, it makes us sometimes make really bad decisions, make quick uh, uh, altering decisions that can affect not only ourselves but other people. Um, you know, we can really do damage, and then we have to go back and try to do damage control of things that we didn't act or react correctly to because we, got, we allow things to, uh, you know, build up underneath the surface as opposed to dealing with them and getting them out in the open, whether it's... Uh, within ourselves or having a, maybe an honest, communicative, open uh, conversation with somebody else to clear the air. Um, but bottom line, we can't, you know, regardless if it involves somebody else or even our own self, what we get frustrated with, we've got to um, take responsibility. We've got to, um, if we need to, uh, wrong or right, we need to, if we need to learn to forgive something or, or someone of, of an action or something, you know, we've, we've got to um, uh, learn to let things go and put them in their, maybe even sometimes compartmentalizing. Okay, you know, I learned that lesson. Does that mean I have to learn it again? No. Or, you know what, maybe I need to try to understand why I reacted to that situation. Why did that person get under my skin when otherwise it wouldn't have affected me any other way? And so, you know, we've got great potential to... Um, always tweaking and, and becoming our best and, and, you know, from those experiences with other people through trial and error, through making mistakes, through some failures. Um, but we've got to learn to let things, you know, subside, um, you know, pray about them. If we can't seem to let them go, um, you know, understand that sometimes that's all we can is to release it and forgive it and let it go, whatever the circumstance might be. And that involves ourselves. Sometimes we have to forgive ourselves in that process in order that we ourselves can grow and move forward and, you know, let, let things, uh, you know, come to fruition, for lack of a better word, in whatever that purpose might have been that maybe was altering or uncomfortable or whatever the scenario might have been. Um, but, you know, part of that's owning our faults, owning that we are human and people can get under our skin or we can get underneath other people's skin just as much as they get under ours. And, you know, um, we have to learn to work together. And, uh, you know, we don't always have to agree with everybody, but we, we need to try to get along and understand that Sometimes our way isn't, isn't, it isn't right. It isn't always my way or the highway. And, you know, it takes a lot of courage to, to admit that and acknowledge that, you know, just as much as somebody might be getting under your skin, you really might be getting under theirs. So, you know, see the glass full. You know, see, see all sides of the scenario and know that, you know, 
own and understand your part in whatever that's making you uncomfortable or something that's causing you to keep things festered up and know that you're, you know, you could stop that. Only you can stop your mindset about it and how you're going to um, go forward. And you're, are you going to let it affect you? Or are you going to stay stuck in it? Or are you going to release it and let it go and maybe even bless it and move on? With or without, sometimes that means we have to, you know, sometimes cut ties with folks too because no, we don't always agree on everything and that's okay. We could agree respectfully to disagree. Or just, you know, Again, let it go. Let Give it to God. So anyway, that's my thought today. Um, whatever's festered up in you, you know, just let it go. Um, understand your responsibility if you've done something in, in something that's caused that. And just own it. Own it and uh, get right within. And, uh, and if there's something that you can communicate and, and, and get on, on out of the surface and, and off the table, then by all means do so. Um, but always know that, you know, each and every day we have the great potential to do something different and start anew and, and not let things fester up and, and cause us to have knee-jerk reactions and uh, do things that sometimes we can't take back from reactions and things that we do that, that can have everlasting um, effects, not only ourselves but other people. So anyway, have a blessed day. Keep looking up. Know that uh, good things are ahead. And as I always say, onward and upward. Talk at you later.